If you're not familiar with the Straight Line mission, it's the wacky, absurd, crazy, eccentric, foolish, loony idea of going from one place to another in a completely straight line. We chose a one-day route across a part of Somerset's countryside which presented a healthy amount of challenge, risk and most importantly danger. Faced with running across farmyards, trampling three metre tall brambles and sneaking through an active fruit farm, I don't know how they haven't seen us yet, we couldn't wait to get started. Here we are at the start line. Good morning everyone, we are here, it's uh, 7.57, um, we're about to start our straight line mission. That bush. That is what I'm going through first. Oh, should be easy. Should we get started? Let's get started. To keep it interesting, we decided to make it a competition. We created two parallel lines, 10 metres apart, and whoever deviated from their line the least would be the winner. Let's get going. I'm going straight through here. He reckons he can get through there. I think this is... He's going for it. He's got a lot of enthusiasm. Oh, it's not bad, he's making progress. Here I am, currently about halfway through my first hedge. Okay, hedge number one is down. Adam's just come through some trees. And this is where I'm heading now. First woodland. Come out to the road so that hopefully my location is going to improve. And then out onto the first, first bit of road. Archie's already here. Oh, mine's gone down. Bang on my line. Adam's way off his line. Disrupted that, so uh, I've just got. <laughs> oh, already deviated 10 meters. That is oh. not good. So Adam's now corrected his line. And this is what the path ahead looks like. Looks easy enough. Let's crack it on. So we're aiming for one kilometre an hour. Um, so we should hopefully do it in seven or eight hours. Opening up into uh, some fairly dead bracken, which should hopefully make it easier to trample. Hug the edge of this path. <laughs> oh, I'm hey, Adam. I'm hugging the edge of this path. What? I'm also hugging the edge. I'm just to the left of my line. I'm just to the right of my line. Well, then we might both be a couple of meters off our line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to get in the hedge now. Oh. Okay, now I'm bang on my line. Looks like a decent path up through the woods. Ow. Bracken. Oh, look at this. So my line's actually going over this huge tree. I need to go a bit to the left. Which does mean I don't have to climb over this tree. I'm just going to the left of to the left of it. Through this nice little deer hole here by by chance. Oh. Oh. Now we are into private land. Yeah, I think we are about like probably about eight meters apart. Yeah. Yeah. This is an easily jumpable fence, especially with a beam there. So I can get over that easily. Oop. I said I could get over that easily. Almost. That was quite a wet beam. Must have been lubricated by a farmer who didn't want us on their land. They must have heard about the challenge. See where I fail? I think Archie's going to film me, so do it. I'm just going to try and get through this. Hoods off the brake, I reckon. Hoods up, charge in. Oh, 
That's how far we've gone. Not very far. Trampoline down. This is my head height. This is what I can see. They didn't want to leave me alone. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, lost location a little bit. It was at this point I made my first major deviation. Unfortunately, I lost GPS in the woods and I had to just guess at what was a straight line, which meant I ended up deviating about 40 meters. Nothing major yet, apart from the loss of a Cut 5 glove. Okay, so here we are on a field. That's the hedge I've just come out of. And there is a house there, but this is our next. Look how high that hedge is. Oh, there's a farmer on the track down there, or someone. We're coming down to a farmyard of some sort. And my line goes pretty much straight across the yard. Oh, it's this full-on farmhouse. I can't see anyone. Do we just go for it and bolt across? Yeah. Here we go. I can't see anyone. This is quite a drop. Okay, still can't see anyone. We're down, we're in the yard. Okay. I know, but if there was someone in the house then, we could have been in trouble. So the zip on my bag is broken. So we're conducting a little repair. Archie's been bashing through hedges and uh, broken his zips. He's obviously got one of these school bag bags. You know, I've got a nice stuff sack, way to go with them. Um, you ever do a straight line mission, stuff sack. Not. Otherwise you have to bring a masking tape. Bag. I reckon that'll Makes do. You look like even more of a weird bag. Gutted I lost the glove as well. Cut five rated oh, it I've was as well. Glove. Have you? Yeah. Oh, they'll probably cut three though, aren't they? Yeah, but, but cut three is better than, better than a cut zero. Yeah, true. Hand is a cut zero, isn't it? What's it, lefty? It's a, I need a righty. 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 Nice. Nice messed up righty. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. So next hedge, and I can see a really nice little deer hole that I'm going to try and go through. This is a holly bush. Adam's going to be in serious trouble. So I'm through the first bit of the hedge in the middle and now we've got metal wire there and I've got to go over that. I reckon bag launch is going to be the way to go for this. Through, straight through there. No. It's over the hedge. I'm through the hedge. Bag launch worked successfully. Adam's through. Now we've got some, some fields to trek. So we are heading towards a farmyard. There, we've got a huge row of trees and looks like it ducks down a lot. We are fairly well hidden in this woodland, so hopefully we should have the element of surprise going into this. Oh God, it's quite a lot of brambles here. Yeah, I know, tell me about it. I've got a nice tree here, which is minimised. Oh, so I'm through bramble mania. That was the absolute worst bit that we've come through so far. Nice little hole I can come through here. Bag launch, work the street, and we're just getting our navigation back. I'm bang on my line here, so I was actually back pretty much bang on. So we are now crossing, we're crossing a farmyard. We can hear a quad bike. I'm heading pretty much that direction. Through the hard bit. And there's a, a nice little line through here that I can take. And have, maybe even have a little scope out before I get out of the hedge. I can't see anyone around. Bag launch for this one, I reckon. So I'm still in the hedge. The coast looks clear, but I think I can hear someone. 
up at the house somewhere. So what I think I might do is stay in the hedge for a second and let Adam take the fall. As this is a competition, if there's anyone at the house, they'll spot him. I think Adam is about to come out of the hedge. Oh yeah, Adam's over the hedge. Is anyone, is anyone out the, outside the house or anything? Okay, cool, I'm coming then. So we've just come through that horse's field up there. I'm not sure if we've been seen or not, but we've just seen the horse riders on the horses coming out of the top. But they've thankfully they've gone the other way. So we've come through these brambles. But now we've got to go over this. Oh, I think it's easier than Bramble Mania. Yeah. We can hear a quad bike of some sort and it sounds close. Is that his tracks there? Do you think? Yeah, can't really tell. Making progress through the edge, as you can see. Proper edge this one. This is a serious hedgerow. The, the line actually goes like, like in that direction for me, so I should be crossing there, but this here is only like a meter or so off my line, so I'm not deviating very much. And Adam's very kindly made a path for me. That was some good timing. If they had come about 60 seconds earlier, we could have been in trouble. It could have been like the farmer's wife and her friend or something. Covered in in hedge. Covered in hedge, basically. Adam's been stung on the face. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a nice easy crossing there, but it turns out got a nice big thwack of stinging nails all the way across my face which is pretty much the only exposed part of my body, so that was pretty painful. So here's the pig farm. There's Adam on top of the hedge, bag drop. You are so high up. Tell me about it. I need to chuck these down as well because I'm scared I'm going to lose them. Phone camera. What are you going to do? Jump down? I'll get down there. Compass. Um, so it's really unstable. I don't want to fall through the holly, but I feel like it's going to happen at some point. In. Done it! That was a difficult hedge. I thought I had to go around. No chance. So the time is 10.49 a.m. We've come from that hedge there which Adam jumped off. We're now heading down here straight for King's Cliff Woods. So I've got a lovely little opening here right on my line along this huge hedgerow. Yeah, got some nice berries here as well. Might nab one of them. Mm, they didn't taste so good actually. So come out this hedge easy enough and I can see Adam's bag there that he's chucked through. Can't see Adam yet though. Oh, I can see the hedge moving. Look at this yobbo, just destroying the countryside. Yeah. 
just for the sake of a stupid challenge. Like, oh, following a straight line, so it's all right to trample down and just destroy farmers' vegetation and hedgerows. Still doing well on the line. Nice depth of a valley. I don't know what that is over there. It looks like a little cave or something. I wish I could go over and have a look. That last stream killed me and I've got soaking wet feet now. Let's climb up there. Bang on my line. I'm in a horse's field now and they're all staring at me. But I do need to get into the hedge at some point. Started to go a couple of meters off staying in that field, so it's time, it's time. Gotta stay on the line. Okay, there's a little track here, it looks like someone's done this before. So I'm out of the bracken in the woods. Back into another farmer's field. Problem. I'm in a bit of an open area, but that's what I'm going to go through now. Adam is stuck somewhere in there, and um, I'm not sure I'll back him to get out. It sounds like he's deviating by a couple of meters. Just heard him say the word. Are you lying on your back? What? Are you lying on your back? No. You stood up? Yeah. Ground level's a lot lower than I thought. Yeah. Where you are? Yeah, it's deep. Oh yeah, daylight. So I'm going through here now. Adam's deviated a lot. I'm 10 meters off. Because he would have had to go through all of that. That looks god awful. I'm just trying to get my leg up and just trample everything down as Adam. So we've just had a look at the line and we're actually about two thirds of the way across. So we're pretty happy with our progress. We've been going for about five hours. So here we are at the first hedge coming out of the woods and there are these nice little holes that I can just chuck my bag down and crawl up to crawl through. Happy with that. For the last 20 minutes or so, I've been trying to trample my way through. Adam's about three meters up in a yeah. tree. Well, ground level, you can see the ground level there, right? And this is what I've, I've trampled, been trampling down brambles this high. Got to power through, I'm just using my bag, push down, still push them down, then I, Take my bag out and get my foot up there as high as I can and just trample, trample down. Yeah. Arch has made some cracking progress. It's about to reach the dead zone now. And he's just got to go through there and then down onto the path. I've just got out of Bramble Mania 2.0. Was I in there for about 20 minutes? Probably at least 20 minutes, yeah, because there was a hedge and then a load, load of brambles. <sighs> Probably Wouldn't, covered about 10 metres in 20 minutes. Yeah. The tape on the bag is deteriorating seriously. Mm. These conifers are nothing compared to Bramble Mania 2.0. Luxury. We used to get up at three, clean the lake. So we got through the conifers. We're having a spot of lunch. Halfway between our lines. Yep. Compromise. What have you got for lunch, Archie? I have got two chicken sandwiches, some fruit cake, a russet apple freshly picked last week from our mm. plot, and an easy plot. peeler. I've already eaten my uh, russet from uh, Grandad's plot. Finished our lunch. Lunch is packed up. The bag is taped up. 
We're pretty happy yeah. with our progress. Yeah, let's just smash out this last bit. Shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem.